Okay, now the other important aspect of putting the carb burrata back is once you reaffix the throttle shaft, choke shaft, throttle disc and choke disc, it's very, very important that you leave these two screws, that one and the other one on the other side. There they are there. Leave them loose, loose so the disc is loose in the shaft. And then you close, close the disc. Now I just might point out here that on that disc, on the outer edge of that disc is a little bevel and it's chamfered like that if you like so as it comes into contact neatly, firmly and securely in and around the throttle body. So with the screws loose you close that and hold it close, hold it closed firmly firmly so as that throttle body whilst being loosely contained within the throttle shaft is positioning itself exactly where it needs to be in the carburetor body opening and then and only then you commence to tighten up these two screws whilst you're holding it firmly in place and what that does is it tightens up that disc in a position that mates up perfectly with the carburetor body if you leave the disc like this and then tighten up the screws the disc will not meet the carburetor body opening neatly. You will have a gap. You will have a gap and it will cause tuning problems. So leave these two screws, that one there and that one there loose, firmly close the throttle valve so as the throttle disc finds its position its mated position automatically and then commence to tighten the two screws that's a big secret to fine tuning these carburetors now most important and do that also with the other side the same procedure is to be adopted for the choke disc